This is module 42 and it was going to continue with solving equations except now in this module we get into solving exponential equations. In module 41 we were solving um, logarithmic equations. So we're going to use the same sort of techniques as we did with um, Um, as we did in the other um, section. Now, Alex may show you something different and you can do it the way they tell you to do it. Um, but this problem is um, exponentials with common bases. So essentially what they do is they want you to understand that this base and this base share a lower common base. And so what is that lower base? The easiest way to do it is to put it into its prime um, form. So I know that nine is three times three, which is the same thing as three squared. And I know that 81 is three times three times three times three, which is three to the fourth power. So this 81 will become 3 to the 4th power, and then it keeps its old exponent there. This becomes 3 squared and its old exponent. And what do you do when you have an exponent raised to another exponent? You simply multiply those exponents together. So then this becomes 3 to the 12 minus 12x 12 equal to 3 to the negative 8x. And how do you get rid of exponentials? You apply the um, inverse logarithm, right? So that means I will take the log base 3 on both sides. And what does that do? It gets rid of the x. This base cancels this base. This base cancels this base. So I'm left with 12 minus 12x 12 equal to negative 8x. So then if I add 12x over, I get that 12 equals 4x divided by 4 divided by 4. I get that x equals 3. Um, now there is no rule on whether or not an exponent can be negative. So it is not necessary to check this answer. I can assume that this answer is correct, just so long as all of my steps were correct. However, if you want to check your answer, plug them back in, right? The left side should equal the right side. So 81 raised to the three minus three times three and it gives me this number, whatever number it is, I just want to make sure I get the same number on the other side. So nine raised to the negative four times three, and I do in fact get the same thing on both sides. So therefore three is the solution. Okay. Now we're down to solving an exponential equation using logarithms. So here, unfortunately, 6 cannot be written with a common base like 3 because 2 and 3 um, are different, right? If they're different, then you can't write them as an exponential. Um, it's going to stay stuck as a 3. So what you can do is you can still do log on both sides, but it's hard to choose between log base 3 and log base if you can't decide, then use one of the two that you have in your calculator, right? So that you can evaluate these things later. So either choose LN or choose the, the common log. I like to use LN, but if you like to use the common log base 10, that's fine too. So I will apply the LN on both sides. And unfortunately, because the base is E here and the base is 3 there, they do not cancel. And same goes for this side. Because this is base E log and this is a base 6 exponential with a 1, right? Um, you cannot cancel the numbers. So we just have to keep following the process of logs trying to solve for Y. And one of the properties of logs tells me that if I have an exponent on a logarithmic expression, 
I can bring it down to the front. So this becomes y minus six times the ln of three equal to the ln of six. And if I wanna get rid of that ln of three, since it's multiplied by the expression with y in it, I can divide by three. Then I get y minus six equals ln of six over ln of three. Do not type things in your calculator until you have your final answer. That's the only way to guarantee that your final answer is correct. So if I need to continue solving for y, I'm gonna add six to both sides. Now on the left-hand side, it cancels, so I have y by itself. On the right-hand side, I can't really add six because I don't know what decimal number that fraction is. So this is the exact answer. However, in this problem, it wants to know decimal answer okay so we'll go ahead and type that into our calculator just as it is fraction ln of 6 over ln of 3 and then plus 6 on the side and we'll round to two decimal places so we get that it is approximately 7.63 and as long as this doesn't make one of the logs, there were no logs in my original equation, so I don't have to worry about that answer making any of my arguments or my bases negative. Since there are no arguments or bases here, there's only an exponent. Let's keep going. So solving an exponential equation using a natural logarithm. Well, here now we do have a base E, okay? So we can use a natural logarithm to cancel this out. So when I apply the natural logarithm on both sides, it may not cancel on the right-hand side, but it does cancel the E on the left-hand side, leaving me with X minus two. And then only round your final answer. So I have to add two to solve for X, and I get that X equals the expression ln of seven plus two. Now be careful, you're only taking the natural log of seven and that value is getting added to two. Be careful not to type in your calculator, don't type in this and not close your parentheses as you should or try to close it over here because then that expression is something completely different from what you have on your paper. You have to make sure that you tell the calculator you're only calculating the ln of seven and then adding two to that expression. And so if I round to the nearest hundredth, tenths, hundredths, the five is gonna change the nine, I mean the four to a five. So we're gonna have X is approximately 3.95. Again, there are no logarithms in my original equation, so I don't have to check to make sure that my base is positive or that my argument is positive. This is the final answer. Solving this one is very similar. You have two different bases, you can't make them match, right? And now that we know about the LN, you don't ever need to try to make them match. You can just apply the LN on both sides and then do the, the math. So we're gonna apply the LN on both sides. The LN is a logarithm, which is the opposite operation of a um, exponential. And then again, you cannot cancel the base E and the base four and the base E and the base three. So the only other option we have is to bring these exponents down to the front. So you end up with two X times ln of four, and you end up with X plus seven times ln of three. Now ln of four is a decimal number, and ln of three is a decimal number. We just can't put the decimal number in right now because it goes on and on and on and on forever. In order for me to put the decimal in now, I would have to chop it off at some point and round it. And you're not allowed to round until your final answer. If you round here, when you start doing all your computations, everything's gonna be slightly off, okay? So you cannot round these. So just make sure that you remember that this is just a number and this is just a number and treat it as if it is just a number. So if I take two X times another number, what do we end up doing? We end up multiplying two times that number and then putting the X next to it, right? 
Here, if this is a number, all we end up doing is distributing that number. So you get the ln of 3x plus 7 times the ln of 3, that same number. Now, you do have two terms that have x in them. So you do have to get both of your x terms to one side. So I am going to minus this x with the coefficient of ln of 3 so that it's gone from this side. But I can't combine these because I don't know exactly what those coefficients are. I just know there's some kind of decimal numbers. But because both of these terms have an x, I can factor that x out. And then because we're trying to solve for x, we can divide both sides by that factor. It's just really ugly, but it is possible to do. So this will cancel the factor and I get x equals 7 ln of 3 in the numerator, 2 ln of 4 in the denominator, minus the ln of 3 in the denominator. And then now I can round to my final answer to the nearest hundred or thousand. So enter the fraction, type in 7 ln of 3, close the parentheses, go downstairs, 2 ln of 4, close the parentheses, minus the ln of 3, and close the parentheses. This expression is the same as this expression. Hit enter, and to the tenths, hundreds, thousands, zero will not affect the four, so it'll be 4.594. And this, final answer. Do not round it anywhere in here. Don't start throwing in decimals. You're not allowed until the very, very end. Now here we're solving another problem. This one wants you to keep it in exact answers. So we don't have to keep putting things in the calculator. And it's specifically telling you use base 10 or use base E. Again, you already know my style. I like to use base E all the time. So I'm gonna take the natural log on the left hand side and I'm gonna take the natural log on the right hand side. So then this exponent is gonna come down to the front this exponent is going to come down to the front. So I have negative x minus 2 times the ln of 11. And then I have 9x times the ln of 5. Then I'm going to um, distribute this ln. So it's going to be negative ln of 11, some decimal number, times x, minus 2 times ln of 11. On this side, I'm going to multiply those two numbers together to get my coefficient of x. Now, we need to get all of our x's to one side and our constants to one side. This is a constant. There are no variables in this term. And since this constant is already on the left-hand side, I'm going to move this term with the variable to the right-hand side so that I can get that constant by itself. Then I end up with this expression on the right hand side. Both of these terms have an x in it, so I can factor that x out. Left hand side is staying exactly the same. And then I'm going to divide by that number so that I can isolate the x and divide it on this side as well. So that this factor cancels with that factor and I end up with x all by itself. Now here, I don't need the parentheses, I can just write ln of 11. Here I can write 9 ln of 5 and here just ln of 11. Um, in your computer, in Alex, when you type ln, it's going to automatically open a parenthesis like it does in our calculator. So just make sure you close it where it's appropriate to close it. So it's going to open it here, make sure you close it there. Again, it's going to open it here, make sure you close it there. And this is the expression that you're going to type in your calculator. 
okay? Don't need to plug it in and get a decimal value for that particular topic. Now, we're gonna get into some word problems. I'm gonna save the word problems for another video.